one one. Okay, hi everyone. Um, name is Ivan. Um, so I'm going to be talking today about Iron Belly. Uh, it's a mobile wallet for green. And yeah, um, can you raise your hand if anybody here has Iron Belly on their phone? Oh, this is nice. Um, okay, so it's more like it's more like interrupt kind of. Uh, let's see. Uh, so first, where the name came from. So for one of the like, for ones who watched Harry Potter, there was a lot of dragons. So one of them was this Ukrainian Iron Valley. I guess it was a seven part, and it was so wide, and it was guiding something very important. So that's where it came from. Uh, why it's important for me? Because I'm Ukrainian. That we share something with, with the project. Um, yeah, I forget that. This is exactly what I said. So I would love to start with the history. So how it was created, and then phase to uh, where it is now. So in November 2018, is like roughly one year ago, one year, probably three weeks, um, there was a couple of things on my mind. So there was a couple of months to launch the main app. And there was no mobile wallet out there. There was not really a lot of wallets at all out there besides the, the, the one with the sea light. And well, I knew that green written in Rust and you can compile it to iOS and Android, this is public knowledge. So yeah, and the green con was very, very soon. It was November. 2018, when I first presented a very bad looking app which worked, it could send only 10 grains, and only 10, um, and show you the information about your account. It was running on iOS, and I guess that day there was uh, the first transaction. And I would love to tell about the milestones uh, the project achieved uh, for a year. So, as I mentioned, there was a first transaction between two iPhones, uh, public and there. So, and then I started to work more on the project, because essentially there's, the, the app you saw, it, it, like, it doesn't really scale or do the kind of ability for people to transact uh, conveniently. So, the first release is the test flight, which has already UI, you can create your wallet, you can import a seed, and everything works on the device. Um, and when I say everything works on the device, I mean no, not running the node, but your seed never leaves the iPhone, or in case of Android, Android. Um, later, something else important happens. So, on 12 April, I received a grant from Binance Lab. Uh, it's like a grant for open source projects, no strings attached, and it essentially gives me a little bit more time to work on that, because I've been working on projects for roughly like after my day job, and it's not too much time I can spend on that. And yeah, no particular date. Uh, there was a lot of kind of feature development bug fixing because it's going to allow me to do that. Um, this leads to uh, in July there was a first transaction which I did uh, on the Android and iPhone. I was pretty excited because because by that time the iPhone has a couple of or two or three I don't remember exactly already wallets for uh, Green, but there are no uh, wallets for Android. And as my recent knowledge, still the only one is Iron Belly for Android. Great, so 25th August, it was released to App Store. So the story was App Store a bit complicated. If you see from test flight to August, it's like a lot of time. And it's not like I'm really tricky on testing, to be honest. It's because you cannot release crypto wallet to App Store without registering a company. Which me, working after, after hours on the project, don't really want to open a company. So, uh, we found a solution uh, where basically there is a company called um, Autonomous Software Foundation registered in the Netherlands. Uh, and they provide for projects like mine, which is basically open source, and they require the legal entity, they have it, and they put the app under their shield. So essentially, if you look at terms and conditions and everything, there is, it's that product, they uh, distributed that. And I'm totally happy, because in this way, I at least can put it in App Store. And then, on 16 September, there was released to Play Store. Well, Play Store is easy. You just pay 25 bucks and you deploy whatever you want, so there was no real problem. Uh, I guess it's still in beta, because I haven't really updated the version, um, the first one, and why that happened, I'm going to tell a bit later. You should take that one, wherever that goes. Um, so, current state. So, boss platforms of support. That's obvious from my previous slide. Uh, you can send money via files to HTTP. And that's like a tricky one. It's a top one question I got. 
and I know this is a pain. So receive money, you can we are, uh, we have files. You cannot set up the HTTP service on your iPhone yet, at least. Um, but you can send it over HTTP. So from that, uh, moving to what you also can do. So you can pay with a QR code. So there is a nocturnally uh, payment processing out there, and they generate the QR code. So essentially, on iPhone, not on Android yet, you can press on the QR code icon and just pay conveniently so you get your goods or anything you want there. Uh, so fingerprint and face unlock supported, but this is sort of basic. Uh, but it took me a couple of weeks to be honest to do it because um, the whole code base is written in technology which is platform agnostic and these things are not platform agnostic like, so it's kind of a achievement for me as well uh, so you can set your node as I mentioned everybody does not run your node so if you're concerned about privacy for any reasons you can run your own node connect or invert your own node so that, that means it never leaves your transport or kind of, you know, you need to trust anybody but yourself. Um, by default, there is a knot which uh, we run uh, and we do it only for convenience. It actually costs money, so it's not convenient for us, convenient for you. Uh, yeah, and recently you can compare it wins to another currency. I actually get requests to remove that because probably people get upset when it drops, I don't know. Uh, so I'm probably going to add a switch so you know, did not compare this to another currency. Um, I personally don't really get nervous when I fall down and I go up, so. Okay, so now uh, this is the time. So it's not gonna be a live demo because I have a 15 minutes, and you know what happened when it's a live demo in 15 minutes. So I conveniently enough recorded a video, which now we're gonna have on the screen soon. And I feel bad for our presenters before who didn't use there is a laser in, in, in the clicker. So cool. Uh, now we're gonna can you can you can you pause? Okay, cool. You move it? Oh I can pause it. Amazing. No, this is this is too far. This is this is can we make one before? Alright. Technology, right? Yeah, I would just needed two cables, two phones, another laptop, and that's good going to be it. Great. Okay. Just all the way in the beginning. There's like 1 minute 21 seconds, I'll paste my talk for that. It's inverted. It's hard to... Game. Okay. So, what's going to be happening? Because uh, a lot of times people ask like how to transact green, and I, I feel the pain, right? Because it's not easy. It's not like you just send an address and your coins are there. No, this is how the process. You transfer in files. You're being concentrated. You wait and stuff. So, I filmed a video of like transaction between two fonts. So, and I'm going to publish it later. So, if you forget how to do it, you can do it or send it to somebody who don't. And I'm going to recommend it a bit better. So first, it is like two phones. You press send on one, and then you would enter the amount. See, there's a dollars uh, as well. So then, you see the fees, and I paused the video here for seven seconds, because I didn't know would I be able to pause it on the laptop. So let me wait for that. Oh, come on. Okay. So see, the, here's the important part. Like, the commission in green, it, it, like you all know, this is um, determined by the amount of outputs and inputs you're actually going to spend. So here it gives you ability. Either you'll pay less, but you're going to lock everything for the next 10 minutes roughly, because like 10 blocks. Or you pay a little bit more, but then you can still have a little bit in your account. So this is for your own convenience, because some people want to, if you want to transact twice right now, you don't want to lock everything, but you're going to pay more fee. So that's how it, how it works. So then you can enter a message. I didn't do it. I uh, just press send. The app would generate for you the file. It would automatically open the share. So uh, I'm in this case using Telegram. This is not a requirement. You can use whatever you want. Uh, you can use Signal. You can add Deutsche Post or whatever, like print it on the paper, send it via plane to somebody. It doesn't really matter. 
So I get this, I mean, in this case, I save it to my side. So on iPhone, I open this file. Oh, this contrast, contrast is not really great. So I share it to Aaron Bell again. So what now happening? Um, when app opened this file, so I accept that I'm going to send it, it will automatically generate the response file and open the sharing menu for you so you can share it back. So then you share it back with a um, receiver, in this case myself, um, and then you open the response file. And then it asks you, do you really want to confirm? So this is important. It, this is like your last like, firewall. Uh, when you press this, it goes to the node. So all before, you can you know, just wait delete, and no money would be allocated. Because everything that was happening before was off-chain. So the, the blockchain doesn't, is not aware of that. When you press confirm, it actually goes to the node. So it wait a bit and say, hey, so, uh, successful. So then, it also um, important to what you see on top. Uh, let me just, yeah, one minute later. So this is increasing amount. So now it's not confirmation. So I mean to mine to block, but it's still not yours to be honest, because you would see three things here. So it's available uh, awaiting time confirmation. This is essentially kind of locked. It's not really yet ready to use. So the current is matter. This is exact amount you actually can spend. And lock that would be when you just um, say I want to send something, but haven't finished the transaction, so you locked it in your amount. So in this case, we would see that this uh, amount is actually just evading time confirmation, and there's zero spendable. In ten blocks, roughly in ten minutes, you would actually see uh, you know you can use it. Yeah. So this is end of the video. Daniel, can you back to slides? The video was embedded in, in presentation, the internet here is not really great, so I'm sorry for that. Okay, no, no, from, from here, I'm, I'm good, I guess. Yeah, no? Forward. No, okay. Okay, so besides all the good things, I mean, I hope good things, um, there are some challenges. So first one, withdrawing money from, from exchanges is hard. Like, and, and I know that. The first, uh, it's because they don't support files more often. And they usually ask you for HTTP address and you cannot really get it on your phone. So the idea how to solve it is use some desktop um, wallet when you can do like behind the NAS kind of creating the address. Uh, so you can get it first on desktop and then you, you can just use the files. Uh, second, translate out to, to other languages, so I get requested to at least translate it to Russian and Chinese. And the app doesn't support internalization, at least yet. I'm planning to just add the build and then whoever wanted you to just add the translation for English, you're welcome. And I hope somebody would do that, because uh, I don't know Chinese. Um, so dealing with files on mobile devices in Spain, especially on iOS, so like, you, it, it's horrible. Uh, you, you like, if you did the, this files app, but there's so many limitations where you can put there and how you can access it, and you cannot access them from different folders. So it's not like you do it on the desktop. When you, the files is yours, like on the mobile, it's everything you sort of like renting this from Apple and just lose a little bit. Um, so what a translation has bad UX. So now the app would ask you enter all 24 words, and I know this is pain, but this is done for a good reason. So a user, probably not experienced user, would enter these 24 words and he would actually be sure he has it or she has it, right? If I ask only for two words, all the rest can be garbage and then the user in a couple of years is uh, going to write an email saying, hey, come on, your wallet stole my money and my, my like, key doesn't work because he probably wrote it different. So this one give ability to ensure that. Obviously there is a, like um, some ways how we can mitigate it, so we can, I can render the words and usually just click and there's sort of random, but there's one correct, we just ask a couple of them, so it's still an ongoing process, um, but I, I'm aware of that. Yeah, and the last one is a lot, uh, lots of bugs to be fixed and features to be implemented, so there's lots of things I want to bring, or like, it doesn't work. And, there was, and now there's a last but not least, um, we're just going to end with this one. So, if you want to support, because for this all I need time and money uh, to actually support this all, because doing development is fun. Supporting 32-bit Android device on Android 6 is not fun. It's like not, not the, the things you want to do.
debug for your free time just out of you know, curiosity or because you love uh, to do things. So if you want to support, um, please consider uh, if you find the project is kind of a thing. Yeah, and thank you very much for using it. And Thank you. Any questions? Oh. I get one question. That's success already as a speaker. Hi, thank you. Um, I just have a quick question. If you do a transaction and you are not confirming the transaction, can you delete the transaction on the sender phone? Yes. So you can delete it on sender phone and receiver phone. Um, adding to that, you're not you. You cannot de delete it after it's confirmed. So this is no, also no, no, prior. If prior you can. Is not you just slide it left, which is I thought it's obvious move. Appear is not. You just slide it left like an iPhone in the emails app. You just slide it, and there's a cancel. You cancel and you're done. Uh, your phone's got unlocked, and yeah, you're good to go. Just on that, in grade three upcoming, there's going to be a, a TTL field in the slate, so time to live. So you say, like, this transaction is valid for 100 blocks, and as it's not done by then, then you can cancel it automatically by then. So yeah. We'll see then. So, good point. So, um, Arabella now in the pretty old version, um, but the reason is I mentioned because um, I have, like, like a little bit happened in my life, so I can't really spend that much time on uh, Iron Boy. And the last version was September. Um, so it's still in version 2.0, and there's a 2.1, which is like my goal to update it, and then 3.0. So the beauty of implementation of Iron Bell, it, it does not implement any crypto by itself. So essentially, what I'm doing, I'm just coming to Green Repo, looking at what happened in the wallet side, I'm just taking the code, compile for both platforms, and we're good to go. Uh, and the UI written absolutely separate, so it's all uh, just using the libraries beneath that from from Green. So it's a good heads up. Um, I'm an Iron Belly user, a new user, as of uh, two weeks ago, and uh, thank you. It's uh, it's an awesome app. I've had fun uh, playing around with it and using it. Um, uh, I have a question. Um, is do you intend to, or is it hard to uh, add like a little feature? I know you mentioned like in the the current challenges, um, like a feature kind of like shape shift or whatever. If there's a ton of them with Ethereum to buy Grin within uh, Iron Belly. Um, I haven't really thought about that because um, so. The model behind Iron Belly is being simple, like as, as Green, just pure implementation. So my intention, idea was, so people do not have the ability to transact Green. I just try to give this ability. So regarding specifically this feature, uh, first we have need to check to legal statements about how I would put that, because like I've tried to avoid anything which require regulations or like eyes of you know it was actually not transacting green or buying stuff whatsoever. So what I was more into is um, essentially the problem with drawing green from the like exchanges and other stuff is like widely spread. Like non-technical user cannot use use green and withdraw money from there because and, and that's a problem widespread. So whenever we solve that, they're really just gonna build on top of that and the problem gonna be solved. But I haven't really gotten to to it in, inside the app specifically. All right, cool, thank you. Uh, I, I would recommend just uh, ignoring all legal stuff and, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for being curious enough to test it out. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> that was not legal advice. <laughs> totally not legal advice. Uh, yeah. And there's a terms and conditions, by the way, guys, read them. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.